hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i will show you how to use q group box control in our qt qml application and how to set its property so let's start first import the qt control now right here group box okay in here we create a one column add and add multiple controls in our uh, columns so first of all set the anchor so set the uh, parent now let's add the uh, button control so here set the id my buttons and set the text here so button control now let's create the uh, checkbox control so just simply use the checkbox and copy this line and change here to button to checkbox okay now let's add one uh, one more button control okay so now let's run the application so you can see the our button control checkbox control and one checkbox control and one more button control you can also define the spacing between the uh, two controls so here let's set the 15 and let's check it so you can see the uh, spacing between the two controls let's set the our uh, group box control in our center of the our application so just simply go, uh, set the center in is the uh, parent property so you can see the group box is displaying in our displaying in our center of the app application also if you want to make a checkable group box so let's take one label and here make the uh, one id checkbox main checkbox okay set the by default check right now default value is true uh, set the text here main checkbox okay now let's run the application so you can see this is a main checkbox of the o overall all the group uh, all group box you can also set this property for the if the uh, group box is enabled then you can also set the uh, property now let's run the application so you can see when i uncheck the main checkbox the inner uh, child controls is also disabled and when i click the uh, check the main check checkbox so you can see the a child control is enabled and accessible you can also set the row instead of column so you can see you should watch my previous video about a uh, button style sheet checkbox style sheet and other control style sheet for more deeply information let's set this some uh, background color okay so set the uh, border color uh, pick up any one color so let's select this one and also set the border width uh, 3 and set the radius 
is uh, 3. Now let's see. So you can see the our wall border. So you can also define the individual style sheet of the main checkbox. So you can see now let's run the application. So you can see the individual style sheet of your main checkbox. Let's pick a different color for it. So you can see the main checkbox style sheet is different. So by this way you can easily create your group box control and add the uh, multiple child control child control in your group box and set the basic property about your group box control and set the style sheet for it. So please drop your comment if you have any questions about group box control in Qt QML application and please like this video and share this video with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video thank you